Activists, including the parents of a Parkland mass shooting victim, are speaking in San Diego today as part of a nationwide tour bringing attention to gun violence. Thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. The tour stop comes on the same day the San Diego County Board of Supervisors released the final version of its gun violence community needs assessment. CBS 8's Jesse Pagan is here with how the board moved on that report and what was said at that tour stop. Jesse. Carla Marcella, the San Diego County Board of Supervisors ultimately did not advance the study or the recommendations in it, deadlocking in a two to two vote. Around the same time, the bus turned activist vehicle rolled in front of the county administration center with the parents of gun violent victims in tow. With their message spelled out on the side, the school bus carrying activists with Guac's magical tour rolled into San Diego. We officially crossed the country last night. The cross-country tour is named after Manuel Oliver's son, Joaquin, affectionately nicknamed Guac. Joaquin is one of the 17 killed in the Parkland, Florida mass shooting in 2018. We're trying to just show awareness. I've been traveling from one state to the other, um, beautiful places, different weathers, uh, different scenes but the same people suffering from gun violence. Manuel and his wife Patricia are in San Diego as the County Board of Supervisors took up the final version of their gun violence community needs assessment. According to the study, there were 1,310 gun deaths in San Diego County from 2017 to 2022. Of those, 70.9% were from suicide, 28.9% from homicide, and the rest deemed accidental or undetermined. The board's vote deadlocked, failing to formally approve the report and its recommendations moving forward forward for now. Something that I'm looking forward to is having youth voices at the table. Leanna Pumaseno just graduated from Scripps Ranch High School and has served with several groups as an activist for criminal justice reform and gun violence prevention. She says the community input aspect of the study stood out the most to her. When we have youth voices at the table, they bring a very unique perspective. From there, offering those perspectives is really the way that I believe we can cultivate meaningful, um, innovative solutions. In the end, those innovative solutions are what people like Manuel are hoping come out of their efforts. There's a lot of us out there ready to start fighting and ready to um, get our honoring our loved ones so no one else has to go through this. Board Chair Nora Vargas and Vice Chair Tara Lawson Reamer voted to advance the report while Supervisors Joel Anderson and Jim Desmond did not. In statements, Anderson and Desmond say they need to focus on the root issues of gun violence, with Desmond saying the report's recommendations don't do enough to address mental health. As far as the tour, they will have a ceremony tomorrow morning at Swami's Beach in Encinitas and will be at Comic-Con Thursday to present in a panel. Marcella.